Hello student, uh, this is Professor Dakne and uh, today let's continue with our next uh, point of the unit 3. Now up till we have completed the details regarding the ERP and we are today discussing the last point regarding the ERP that is the advantages and the limitations of the ERP. So based on the points we have discussed related to the ERP, its evolution, definition, characteristic, then the Yesterday we have discussed regarding the generic model of ERP functionality, etc., etc. From that we can come to the conclusion, and that conclusion will be what are the different advantages and the limitations of ERP. So first we let's see the some of the advantages of the ERP. Now in the advantages also ERP advantages being divided into the two groups as a some as a direct advantages and some as a indirect advantages. Now, uh, direct advantages uh, in the sense uh, we can say, uh, now what are the examples related to the direct advantages? Now, for example, as you can, we have discussed number of times using the ERP, uh, sharing of the proper information happens and because of the quick decision can be made, that is the direct comes under the category of the direct advantages improve response time to the queries. If the customer asks some queries to the company regarding the product, etc., because of the ERP, we can give the quick, quick response to the customer, okay, related with their problems. Then uh, because of the ERP also, we are having the advantages, that is the flexibility, which enable the adaptation to the change and use of new technology. If some new technology come into the market, then our ERP system can be easily integrated with that new technology easily integrated means what upon erp system made easily change karu shakto so that our erp system can work with that new technology new technology in the sense initially erp system we are working on the individual computers then we have seen the erp system started being get utilized on the client server technology then we are now today experiencing the erp system can be utilized over the cloud technology so these are if such kind of new technology comes into the market our erp in changes in the erp system can be done easily and uh, uh, it can be made easily and we can uh, uh, make that erp system uh, in the working condition as a availability so that is nothing but the quick adaptation to the change understood so these are the directly directly associated with our uh, ERP advantage uh, ERP. Okay, these are the directly uh, what we can say. These are the directly uh, uh, attached functionality or directly perform roles uh, by the ERP, and that's why these are being comes under the category of the direct advantages. Okay, then the advantages we can get because of these because of these direct advantages. Okay, listen carefully. The advantages we can get because of this kind of direct direct advantages like uh, quick decision making, improve response time, and a quick adaptation to the changes uh, can be easily integrated with the new technology. Here advantages, advantages still. Okay, in the sense, here advantage mula company like a business la ankin kai advantages hota still, then that advantages comes in the category of the indirect advantages the advantages we are getting from these direct advantages are being considered as a indirect advantages now which are that indirect advantages now this is an important point now indirect advantages are nothing but the improve the corporate image and goodwill of the company now this is very important point what improve the corporate image and the goodwill of the company corporate image manje kai कि जे बिजनेस वर्ल्ड आहे त्या बिजनेस वर्ल्ड मध्ये कंपनीची एक रिपीटेशन चांगली होते कधी चांगली होऊ शकते इफ द कंपनी इज हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ एडवांटेजेस कंपनी इज हैविंग द पावर ऑफ मेकिंग द गुड डिसीजन क्विक डिसीजन इंप्रूव रिस्पांस टाइम टू द क्वेरीज इफ दिस दिस एडवांटेजेस कंपनी इज आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द ईआरपी देन द इमेज ऑफ दैट कंपनी कैन बी इंप्रूव इन द बिजनेस वर्ल्ड दैट इज नथिंग बट द मीनिंग ऑफ 
improve corporate image that is the one of the indirect advantage of the erp okay now improve in the goodwill of the company this is the most important thing that i want to explain you because most of nobody will know about this improve the goodwill of the company means what now for example suppose there is a company a company is there and the owner of this a company want to sell this company owner of this company want to sell this company and market value of this company is the 100 crore okay listen carefully market value of this company is 100 crore now somebody other company is there we say there is another company b company is there now b company want to purchase this a company a want a company want to sell a company is getting sale okay the owner of the a company want to sell this company ek a company cha jo malak ahe tela kay karaycha hi company sell karaychi vikaychi a company and b company is ready to buy this company okay owner of the b company is ready to buy this a company now market value of this company is 100 crore okay market value is how much 100 crore and even the market value is 100 crore then there is a b company which is still ready which is still ready now market value is 100 crore it doesn't mean that a company uh, uh, the owner of the a company will sell this company in the 100 crore only he might say 105 crore 110 crore 120 crore like this okay but the market value is 100 crore according to the evaluation valuation of the market its price is the 100 crore okay but the b company even market value is the 100 crore okay even then b company want to purchase this company in the 105 crore how much in the 100 and the 5 crore understood now as you can see market value is the 100 crore now owner of the a might want to sell this company in the 110 crore but b company will go to the according to which price b company will go according to the market price not with the price which is a company is telling okay and so what the b company will do then as the market value is the 100 crore even then b company is ready to give the 5 crore extra to the a company how much 5 crore extra to the a company now why this is so as i said market value of a company is 100 crore okay and the owner of a company is saying that he will sell this company around 110 crore but b company want to b company is ready to buy this company a company in 105 crore now as i said b company will go according to the market price but market price is the 100 crore now even the market price is the 100 crore b company is ready to buy that company by giving the extra 5 crore now why this extra 5 crore and and when this b company will purchase this a company by giving the extra 5 crores when this a company is having very good corporate image what when this a company is having the very good corporate image this a company's brand is very famous when this b company is having the very good customer base this company a company's customers are very much satisfied with this a company the a company is having the good relation with the employee etc etc if this kind of good reputations are there with this a company then that is the reason b company is ready to buy this a company by giving this 5 crore extra and this giving the 5 crore extra is nothing but the called as goodwill of this a company it is called as what the goodwill of this a company and because of this goodwill b company is ready to buy this a company by giving this extra 5 crores
अंडरस्टूड सो गुडविल धंद्या धंद्या बिजनेस मध्य कंपनी चीज रेप्युटेशन कि मराठी मध्य पत मन तो ओके सद्भावना मन तो सर ए कंपनी चाहिए कंपनी इज हैविंग द गुड इमेज इन द मार्केट इट इज हैविंग द गुड कस्टमर बेस इट्स कस्टमर आर वेरी मच सैटिस्फाइड देन दिन दिस बी कंपनी विल गिव द एक्स्ट्रा फाइव करोड़ टू डीज ए कंपनी अंडरस्टूड एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ गुडविल एंड गुडविल कैन बी पर्टिकुलर कंपनी गुडविल कैन बी इनक्रीज ओनली इफ दीज कंपनी आर गेटिंग दीज काइंड ऑफ एडवांटेजेस फ्रॉम द ERP understood and that is the reason the goodwill comes under the indirect advantage of that particular uh, companies uh, okay then another in indirect advantage can be the better corporate relation better corporate relation means what ki a company che jar dusrya baki cha company barobar changle relations astil then that comes under the category of the good corporate relations good customer satisfaction society acceptance manje society madhe sudha त्या कंपनीची जर इमेज चांगली असेल तर दॅट इज ऑल्सो कन्सिडर अ वन ऑफ द इनडायरेक्ट ऍडव्हान्टेज सो दिज आर द टू कॅटेगरीज रिलेटेड विथ द ऍडव्हान्टेजेस ऑफ द ए आर पी सम आर दिज आर द डायरेक्ट ऍडव्हान्टेजेस अँड दिज आर द इनडायरेक्ट ऍडव्हान्टेज डायरेक्ट ऍडव्हान्टेज वरून जे काय आपल्याला ऍडव्हान्टेजेस मिळतात फॉर दॅट पर्टिक्युलर कंपनी त्या दिस कम्स अंडर द कॅटेगरी ऑफ द इनडायरेक्ट ऍडव्हान्टेज अँड इनडायरेक्ट ऍडव्हान्टेज यू कॅन सी द इम्प्रूव कस्टम कॉर्पोरेट इमेज गुडविल बेटर कॉर्पोरेट रिलेशन दिज आर द सम ऑफ द indirect advantages that particular business can get because of the erp system then let's see now uh, in details we have to discuss uh, what are the direct advantages are so following are some of the direct advantages okay uh, which already we have discussed while discussing the points different points now first direct advantage is nothing but the integration okay now as all of you know in the evolution of erp we have seen erp has been evolved from the old from the old kind of uh, information system up to the modern kind of information system understood old in the sense i am not saying the traditional information old information system in the sense where there is a individual computers were there and that individual computers having the erp install on that but this erp is not integrated understood that is the meaning of old kind of information system so in the evolution we have seen how the information system erp has been evolved from the uh, first stage second stage third stage and to the last stage okay but if you see the first uh, three initial stages there were no integration of information system understood there were no integration of the information system as there were no integration of information system in the sense if in the particular company there are the different department functional departments are there these different functional departments were not linked with each other they were not connected with each other and because of that disadvantage we are getting that is disadvantage was the weak communication less sharing of the information was there in case of the legacy system legacy system manje old information system old manje jitha ja information system madhe kay nahte there was a no linking between the departments and the different business units that's information system are referred as a legacy system sir in case of the legacy system or the old information system the weak communication was there understood and because of that the changes was necessary and the changes were were done by designing the information system which will integrate the different business function सो ते जे आपण तीन सुरुवातीचे जे स्टेजेस बघितले होते इन द इव्होल्युशन त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्ही if you see that lecture again you can see there was a no integration and the fourth stage that is the erp itself in the fourth stage the integration was integration was introduced and using that integration it become possible to connect the different functional departments of the particular business together and that is nothing but the advantage of the erp that is the integration integration is available in case of the erp that's why it is being considered as a first direct advantage in the form of the integration hence integration of every business function or the department within a enterprise is most important advantage of the erp if the integration happen then the sharing of the data from one department to the another department from one business unit to another business unit can be happen easily okay every department can know what is happening in another department these all the things are become possible 
if all the departments are linked with each other and this linking can become possible only if the integration is there so this integration functionality was there in the erp and this that's why it is considered as one of the direct advantage so because of the integration erp enables for the automatic updation of data within the enterprises and this is being that is the reason if the automatic updation of data happens within a different departments then because of that we can get the functionality that is the faster decision making can be takes place and because of all these functionality integration is the considered as a one of the direct advantages related with the erp okay then next important advantages uh, because of the erp is the flexibility now what do you mean by the flexibility as in the previous uh, generic model of erp we have seen last kind of uh, module that is nothing but the multi capability multi capability means in means what ki erp is having the multi uh, the point we have discussed there was the erp is having the multi capability multi capability means, means what so as we have discussed if there is a company we have taken the example of sipla company now if the sipla company is having their plants outside india also in the china if the sipla company is having their plant in the america if the sipla company is having their plant in the japan then their their employee will be different their language will be different okay their customers language will be different their currencies will be different indian currency is the rupees china currency is different america currency is the dollar okay so now if if the sipla company if the sipla company want to do their business in the china america and the japan japan uh, country then they need the kind of erp system which is having the multi capability functionality multi capability functionality manje kay erp should be able to provide the services use in the multiple languages understood erp sh erp should be able to do the transaction in the multiple currency in the euros in the dollar in the rupees etc etc so now is this kind of functionality is available in the erp yes this kind of functionality is available in the erp understood erp is having the functionality of multiple uh, multi erp is the multilingual erp can be made uh, uh, erp can be made to work in the multiple languages so that company like sipla can interact with their employee which is there in the china america japan they can easily provide services to the customer who are present in this country they can easily do the transaction in the currency which is available in these different countries okay so for that purpose erp need to be the multilingual erp need to handle the multiple currency and yes this functionality is available in the erp and that is the meaning of the flexibility that is the meaning of what flexibility flexibility in the sense uh, what we can say ki kutlai deshatil je kai customer astil employee astil te easily erp system ji ahe sipla chi use karu shaktat ka use karu shaktat karan tya erp system madhe functionality ahe ki it is present in that multiple language it is present Uh, to handle the multiple currency it is present to handle the multiple kind of transaction using the multiple kind of currency understood and he yala that is the reason this is the advantage this direct advantage is what the flexibility is there in the erp understood ki agdi sopya paddhatine in the very sim in the very easy way the different countries people different countries customer different countries employee which is related with the sipla can able to handle or can able to utilize this erp and that is nothing but the flexibility understood that is nothing but the direct advantages in case of the erp that is the flexibility okay the same point point i have mentioned the modern business organization have gone global ki ata je business ahe tyanche ekas country madhe business nahi they are having their business in the multiple countries okay hence have to deal with the multiple currency jar tumcha business jar vegvega deshamadhe asel तर तुम्हाला यु नीड टू हँडल द मल्टिपल करन्सी अंडरस्टूड यु नीड टू हँडल द युरो यु नीड टू हँडल द डॉलर यु नीड टू हँडल द दिनार यु नीड टू हँडल द रुपीज ऑल्सो यु नीड टू इंटरॅक्ट विथ इंटरॅक्ट इन द डिफरंट लँग्वेजेस सो युअर इ आर पी सिस्टीम शुड बी देअर इन द डिफरंट लँग्वेजेस अंडरस्टूड यु नीड टू 
your erp system should be capable to work in the different accounting standard understood indian accounting standard madhe difference asu shakto as compared with the chinese accounting standard as compared with the american accounting standard because their currencies are different our currencies are different understood ani he sagle possible kashamal hu shakta these all things can become possible because of the erp because erp can be built multilingual erp can be built multi uh, with the multilingual facility erp can be built to handle the multiple currency erp can built to handle the multiple language erp can be built to handle the multiple accounting standard here sagla these all the things are possible easily and that is the reason that is the reason the direct advantage is what flexibility is available with the erp flexibility manje kay kutlyai baharcha deshatil vyakti sudha employee sudha erp use karun they can utilize the services of particular company for example cipla so erp also permit the multiple location to get integrated as a one system understood so using the erp system jar tumcha company che veg vegla deshamadhe plant astil veg vegla rajyamadhe plant astil tar te sagle plant apan these all the plants from the multiple location can be linked together can be integrated as a one system that is that is also it is being considered as a uh, that is also the point of the uh, what we can say the flexibility uh, available with the erp so same point i have mentioned here also this multi variety this multiple facilities are available this kind of multiple facilities are available from the erp that is the reason it is referred as a flexible okay you are having the multiple options understood that is the written reason here it is being considered as a flexible so this multi variety that erp offers make the enterprise flexible to conduct the business in multiple location जर ईआरपी मध्ये दिस मल्टी करन्सी हँडलिंग मल्टी लँग्वेज हँडलिंग जर नसतं तर सिप्ला कंपनीला वेगवेगळ्या देशांमध्ये जर बिझनेस करायचा असेल तर तो खूप इट वॉज नॉट इझी इट इट विल बी गेट इट विल गेट व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हँडल दिस कस्टमर फ्रॉम द डिफरंट कंट्रीज बिकॉज दे दे माईट नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टँड द इंग्लिश दे माईट नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टँड द हिंदी बट बिकॉज ऑफ द युटिलायझेशन ऑफ द ईआरपी दिस थिंग्स बिकम पॉसिबल बिकॉज ईआरपी कॅन बी डेव्हलप in order to handle the multiple currency and the multiple language understood so this kind of uh, easy options are available for the different countries uh, customer different countries employee and this become possible because of erp and same the point here i have mentioned this multi variety that erp offers this multiple functionality that erp offers makes the enterprise or enable the different business flexible to conduct the business in multiple location multiple language and the multiple currency and because of these different functionality provided like the multi, handling the multiple currency dealing with the multiple language handling the accounting standard uh, of different countries tyachamule kay ho shakta ki eka company cha business dusrya deshamade easily spread karu uh, spread kela jau shakto one company can have their business in the different countries okay and that is nothing but the called as the point of the flexibility understood this is the second direct advantage we can get from the uh, erp okay uh, if you are not understood the meaning of flexibility you, i let me tell you the example now in the this corona period you cannot directly come to the college and uh, pay the fees physically so we have given you the option snd college of engineering have given you the option to pay the fees online so that is nothing but the one kind of easy option we have provided to you snd college have provided you that is nothing but the called as a flexibility provided to the student so that student can pay the fee from the their different locations no need to come to the college physically and pay the fees similarly this kind of flexibility is also provided because of the erp to the different business so that business can be work in the different multiple location if business can be work in the location where languages were different from our country where currencies can be different from our country where accounting standard can be different from our country so these all the things can be easily managed by the erp and that is the reason the direct advantage is considered as a erp is a flexible so i hope all of you have got this point now next is what improve planning and the decision making obvious if the erp is having the all these kind of direct advantages we can definitely have the decision making faster and our planning can also be get improved 
as you can see as real time data is shared by all all the different functional departments which are linked together because of the erp because of that it become possible for the different enterprise or uh, business to do the varieties of decisions and to utilize the varieties of the decision support system and to make the decision better decision and the faster decision as a real time real data is real time data is shared by all the different kinds of departments real time in the sense what when the data is getting created or the when the information is getting created in one department at the same time that information is get shared in all other department that is the meaning of what real time without kind without any kind of delay information is getting shared within all the kinds of department which are linked together which are integrated together that is the reason, that is the meaning of real time data if this kind of information is getting shared within all the enterprises uh, departments uh, with very less amount of time with very less delay uh, definitely because of that decision can be made in the real time very quick decision can be made and very better decision can be made understood so this is nothing but the third direct advantages because of the erp that is the improved planning and the decision making okay then next we have the next direct advantages that is in the form of the latest technology okay so modern erp systems are technologically better than the legacy information system legacy information system manje old information systems old information system in the sense the information system which were present in the period of uh, 60 70 or 80 okay from this information system the modern erp system you can see the 2005 uh, period information system or the 2010 inform period information system these in as compared with this uh, 2000 uh, period or the 2005 10 period enterprise uh, information system they are having the better technology available as compared with the this information system as all of you have, all of you have discussed 60 70 80 period madla ja information system hota that information system we are not integrated because that time the client server technology were not available understood that time the cloud based technology were not available understood but nowadays nowadays this this technologies are available understood and this latest technologies are uh, technologies are available and that is the reason today's erp systems are better than the legacy information system or the old information system reason behind that is what today we have the latest technology available and this latest technology can be easily this latest technology can be easily uh can be easily put or can be easily integrated with this erp systems jag ja kai navin technology etil tya navin technology barobar kaam karnyasathi apan erp madhe easily changes karu shakto understood and that is the that is the reason latest technology is the one of the direct advantages is one of the direct advantage of the uh, erp system understood so same point i have written here modern erp system are technology superior than the legacy information system or the old information system because today's erp system are uh, embrace the latest it technology embrace the latest it technology in the sense what today's erp system can easily work with the today's available it technology like the cloud technology client server technology ya technology barobar work karnyasathi apan aajche erp system available ahet apan tyachyamadhe easily changes karu shakto ani apan ya technology baro easily kaam karu shakto understood so same point i have mentioned here erp system embrace the latest uh, it technology like the cloud technology client server technology to enable the enterprises to adapt to the rapidly changing business environment as you can see the today's uh, business are changing rapidly new technology are coming day by day and because of the erp we can easily manage uh, or we can easily uh, uh, work with this new technology because making changes in the erp system so that they can work with this new technology is easy okay and that is the reason these new business challenges or changing business environment 
can be easily handle or our business uh, different businesses can be easily work with this changing business environment why this is so this is because of the erp system and the power of the erp system to work with the latest technology so this is our fourth direct advantages okay so these are the four main advantages related with the direct advantages related with the erp first advantage is the integration second is the flexibility that we are getting because of erp available in the multiple uh, language multi with the it can handle the multiple currency it can handle the multiple accounts and etc third uh, advantage is the improved planning and the decision making that is the direct advantage of one of the direct advantage of the uh, erp and fourth important direct advantage is it can be easily work with the latest technology so these are the four main advantages are available with the erp system here also i have mentioned some another uh, uh, more advantages like because of the erp delivery performance can be increase delivery time can be get decrease if the delivery time get decrease delivery performance get increase the customer la order त्याच्या एकदम योग्य वेळेमध्ये किंवा कमी वेळेमध्ये जर पोहोच झाली तर आपण त्याला काय म्हणू शकतो की इट इज द इम्प्रूव्ह डिलिव्हरी परफॉर्मन्स देन देर इज अ इम्प्रुव्हमेंट इन द प्रोडक्टिव्हिटी अँड कॉस्ट लोअर कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ द ई आर पी कॉस्ट ऑफ द मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग इज गेट डिक्रीज बिकॉज ऑफ द ई आर पी कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन इज गेट डिक्रीज दॅट इज ऑल्सो द अनदर गुड ऍडव्हान्टेज देन there is a reduced inventory reduced procurement reduced manufacturing and reduced distribution time reduced inventory in the sense what ki inventory collect karna sathi jo time lagat hota raw material collect karna sathi jo time lagat hota that is get reduced because of the erp okay manufacturing sathi jo time lagat hota that is also get reduced because of the erp and distribution sathi jo time lagat hota for example delivery sathi jo time lagat hota that is also get reduced because of the erp another next good advantage is what paperless transaction with no duplication of entry just like yesterday we have seen as number of departments are connected with each other through the erp and over that as you are having the computers link with each other no need to take the print out of any any document and submit it to the another department because through the electronic data interchange all the computer can share the information with the another computer and that is the reason here the advantage we are having is what paperless transaction no need to take the print out of anything even if you want to take the approval of anything only you need to send the email to the that higher authority and you will get the approval through the digital signatures so that is the reason here i have mentioned the paperless transaction is one of the direct advantage of the erp then A saving of the time happens saving of the efforts happens because of the duplication of entries avoided as you can see all the departments are linked with each other no duplication entry can happen because all of them are all of they are sharing which kind of database all of them are sharing the central database if they are sharing the central database duplication entry cannot be happen because if the duplication entry comes in the central database automatically it will replace the previous contents which are available understood even uh, you can see in our computer also if in the same folder if you try to copy the uh, if if in the same folder if you try to copy the uh, same content more than once the computer ask you do you want to replace the already available contents means it is asking you whether you want to make the duplicate entry or not understood so as a central database is present duplicate entry cannot be happen so that is because of that time get save efforts get save customer response get increase customer can get get uh, customers problem can be get solved within a very less amount of time and because of the customer satisfaction improves vendor satisfaction improves vendor in the sense ki supplier jancha kadun apan mal kharidi karto okay their satisfaction improves and most importantly moral of the employees get improve moral in the sense what stress of the employees get decrease because if, if the stress get decrease definitely moral or the their confidence get increase understood so these are the different kind of uh, advantages we can have because of the erp now as if particular system is having the advantages now 
that kind of system can also have some kind of limitations also there is a no perfect system available in the world which is only having the advantages only okay for your kind information every system is having their advantages and some kind of oh, limitations also okay so like that erp is also having their limitations now here is let's see the first one the success of erp depends on the selection of the right package okay often it has been found that the package has not served its purpose as it did not meet the requirement of the enterprise and hence the selection of the right package is very important now in the previous lecture we have seen the erp can be a, a package software you can purchase the erp as a package software okay or you can purchase the erp as a customized software okay if you purchase the erp as a package software you have to purchase that ready made erp understood if you purchase the re ready made erp as one particular package if that ready made erp package uh, as a package uh, erp software will not satisfy the requirement of particular business or the enterprise then we cannot get the uh, particular advantage from that erp understood if the company is unable to select the right package of the erp okay if the company is unable to select the right package of the erp then we cannot get the that particular kind of advantage from that erp so that is nothing but the first limitation of erp is what right package selection is very important if the right package is not get selected by the particular company then we cannot get the advantages from that particular erp or that that erp cannot satisfy the requirement of that particular enterprise or the business and that is why uh, this this particular uh, right package selection of the erp is put in the limitation so this is the one of the limitation of the erp so selection of the right package is very important if the right package of erp not get selected then your company requirement will not get satisfied you may not able to give the proper service to your customer you may not be able to give the right service to your employee and that is the reason this will is considered as a one of the uh, what we can say limitation now this limitation is related with the which kind of erp this limitation is related with the package package software erp package software in the sense the ready made ready made erp software but if the company chooses to go for the customized erp customized erp in the sense the erp can be built according to the requirement of the customers according to the requirement of that particular company for example if you go for the customized erp then this limitation can be this limitation can be uh, what you can say this limitation can be removed understood this limit limitation can be handle if you go for the customized erp but if you select the package erp okay and if your package selection goes wrong then you can not get that advantages so that is the limitation so right package selection is very important when you go for the package uh, or the ready made erp but if you go for the customized erp then this uh, limitation can be handled easily okay so same thing i have mentioned here the success of erp depends on the selection of the right package and often it is being found that number of times asa hota ki company cha company je package select karte that using that package company requirements are not get handle ani mag company need to select the another package understood so this things can happen if you go for the package erp instead of the customized erp then another limitation is what erp deals with only the current data this is also the another limitation of erp what is that ki erp only handle the current data but erp does not consider the past data historical data there are the some of the erp which doesn't consider the past data or the historical data now some of the company administration or some of the company manager they might they might have to take the decision using or studying the historical trends past data 
some of the managers might need to consider the historical data or the past data to make the decision understood but this kind of facility is not available in the some kind of erp as most of the erp handle only the currently available data understood so that kind of some kind of erp cannot handle the past data historical data that is also considered as one of the limitations understood i hope all of you got this point that second limitation is what erp deals with most of the erp deals with only the current data deals with in the sense most of the erp can handle only the current data they cannot handle the past data or the historical data third limitation can be there that is the erp is the erp is purely driven by the data means what if the data is not available then erp cannot do anything for that particular business if the data is not available then erp cannot perform its functionality erp cannot give you the kind of advantages that you are expecting understood and because of that some of the employee might find the problem or complexity in the functionality of erp now it is obvious limitation if the data is not available then erp cannot function understood so, but that is also the consider as one of the that's why it is being put under the limitation of the erp so data is must you know to work in case of the erp then another uh, important uh, uh, limitation erp make the whole process mechanical means what because of the utilization of the erp whole process become mechanical in the sense there is the automaticness comes in the whole operations of particular business whole process become mechanical in the sense what ki tya business madhe je kai operations hotat tyacha madhe ek kai yeto automaticness yeto now if the automaticness comes we should consider this as a great advantage yes it is advantage but it is having some disadvantage also okay what disadvantage is there now that disadvantage is related with the employees जर सग गोषी ऐटोमेटिकली हो ओके इफ एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग टू बी हेपन ऐटोमेटिकली नाउ इट अफेक्ट ऑन द क्रिएटिविटी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉज क्रिएटिविटी इन द सेंस इट अफेक्ट्स ऑन रिसर्च कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉज इट अफेक्ट्स ऑन थिंकिंग पावर ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग मीन्स वॉट जर ऑल द डेटा प्रोसेसिंग इज गोइंग टू हेपन ऐटोमेटिकली देन डिशीजन मेकिंग ऑल्सो विल ऑल्सो Uh, you are also going to make the decision according to the uh, suggestion that you are going to get from the erp then what what the it, it it will it will directly affect on the thinking power of the employee understood if the decision will be suggested by the erp that automatic system then our employee will not think then there is no need to think uh, for our employee understood and because of that what happen the creativity of the employee can be get reduced thinking ability of the employee can get reduced because they are getting everything available ready made everything get available automatically understood so that affect on the creativity of the employee let me tell you the example here uh, as uh, as you can see suppose uh, now uh, suppose you are doing the calculation suppose uh when you are doing any kind of mathematical calculation uh, addition of numbers or the subtraction when you are doing the money when you are doing the uh money transactions or uh, when you are doing the calculation of the money or calculation of the anything uh, what happen uh, we, if you have the habits of doing the calculation using the calculator calculator is automatic device If you have the habit of, sir, you must have asked that calculator is sugar, calculation karaije. And suppose consider one day you don't have the calculator, then you 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 will not able to do the calculation fastly, speedily. Why? Because you have lost your thinking power of doing the calculation. Why you have lost or why you have reduced your thinking power of doing the calculation? Karan, you must have sugar quickly lagle le. You have got the habit of utilizing the calculator. understood and if you don't use the calculator and you have the habit of not using the calculator and you do the number of calculation by your own 
then your thinking power will also improve your calculation power will also improve understood that is nothing but your creativity will, will improve i am just giving the example of calci related with the calculation but in case of this kind of uh, businesses if if the company's employee not have to think on which decision to take because this this you know to take the decision these employees are taking the help of the erp system then their decision power will get reduced because they are they are getting the help of the erp here and why they should think now if these things happens that directly affect on the creativity of the employee that directly affect on the research of the employee researching power of the employee as automaticness is the one of the advantage but that is also having the disadvantage and that disadvantage is related with the employee employee la kai gosht for the employee there is a no need to think on certain decision employee no need to process the data by their own karan automatic system available and because of that apan kay manu shakto ki jasa jar tumhi activity keli nahi vichar kela nahi ओके इफ यू डोंट डू द रिसर्च अंडरस्टूड देन आपण काय म्हणतो मराठी मध्ये की आपल्या मेंदूवर एक गंज चढतो बरोबर तस होऊ शकत अँड दॅट थिंग्स हॅपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ सच काइंड ऑफ ऑटोमॅटिक टेक्नॉलॉजी दॅट इज अवर ई आर पी अँड दॅट इज आय मेन्शन इन द लास्ट पॉइंट ई आर पी मेक द होल प्रोसेस मेकॅनिकल ई आर पी मेक द होल प्रोसेस ऑटोमॅटिक and because of that there is a reduction in the creativity of the employee i hope all of you got the points that i have told you and this is nothing but the all the things related with the uh, what you can say some of the important limitations of the erp some of another important limitations i have mentioned here erp costs are high this is the most important cost of the erp is are high erp software ji hai tachi cost kay high hai and uh, that's is the reason small companies small businesses can cannot afford this chota company la business la he parvna sarka nahi hai because license software ja hai license software ja asta the erp these are the having the high cost hardware cost is also high networking cost is also high training dena uh, giving the training is also the costly consultancy fees are also costly so that is the reason erp's cost is high understood that is also comes under the category of limitation then erp is not a total solution to the requirement of the enterprise ki erp use kele manje company che sagles problem solves hotil asa nahi hu pan shaktat hu pan shakat nahi the all problems can be get solved or some of the problems cannot be get solved it can happen understood ani manun erp ERP software ERP software vetirikt apart from the ERP software there is a need of some add on software solutions are also required okay what i said it might happen that ERP may not complete all the requirements of the company and in order to complete all the requirements of company you need the ERP plus you need some additional software solutions also and that can make it complete uh, satisfaction of the requirement of the company ani mag jar tumhala erp sudha lagnar ahe ani extra software sudha lagnar astil because of that there is a huge increase in the cost of implementation of erp and that also comes under the limitation of the erp i hope all of you got the limitations also so these are the all the kind of limitations and advantages related with the erp system i hope all of you have got this point if you have any doubt in any advantage limitation you can comment me in the comment section definitely i will answer your questions thank you all of you